Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and this is going to be your Are you balanced enough reading? And uh, yes, this reading is inspired by the full moon in Libra and it's for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Sagittarius such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please be aware it's a general reading, take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So Sagittarius, are you balanced enough? And as I said, it's a question that is inspired by the sign of Libra. And Libra represents for all of us three main characteristics. And of course, this is justice, partnerships, and nevertheless, balance. So I'm going to be pulling three cards for each one of these virtues. And I'm going to be providing you with the answer, are you balanced enough? And then I'm going to be pulling a card from my Zen deck for a piece of encouragement. So let's see. When it comes to justice, Sagittarius, you have the three of wands in upright position. And then when it comes to partnerships, you actually have six of swords in upright position too and when it comes to balance you have the ten of pentacles in reverse generally speaking everything is supporting you in order for you to be balanced and in harmony with whatever is happening in your life right here right now but the fact that it's not with the proportion or uh, the size materially speaking, uh, as you might uh, <laughs> desired or wished for, might be a serious reason for you to lose your balance, Sagittarius. But let's get back to the justice in your life to do with your overall balance. And you have the Three of Wands. And this is the card that is talking about you having optimistic expectations. And of course, you are Sagittarius, the sign of optimism, represented by the planet Ju uh, Jupiter, that it's actually uh, the great benefic, as we call it in astrology. And uh, also, probably because of that, it, because it's, you are being blessed with the right uh, belief system, so to speak, because of your optimistic approach to any uh, situation that it's uh, developing for you, before you, you seem to always uh, have <laughs> the results that you desire so much in terms of um, your actions are being uh, justifully re uh, rewarded with uh, the outcome that you are pushing for, that you are aiming for, so to speak. And this is a very serious uh, and uh, positive, um, uh, let's say, um, condition for your overall balance. Then, when it comes to partnerships and relationships with people around you, you have the Six of Swords energy. And this is like you manage, on a mental level at least, to uh, make the decision to stay away from everyone, anyone that it's uh, actually negative, toxic, cost you stress, or give you uh, heaviness, so to speak, or um, it's preventing you to move forward with peace, with, uh, you know, with the right mindset and um, to re um, reach a much um, more desired and peaceful um, happening. Literally, this is the energy within your partnerships that it's, um, this is like, uh, <laughs> Okay, this is like you being uh, resistant to anyone that uh, is literally giving you shit and treating you like you don't want to be treated. You have the determination to leave such people behind and this is also greatly supporting you in your overall balance situation. But when it comes to the balance factor in your balancing mechanism, you might really get out of balance with the, let's say, 
Ten of Pentacles in upright position indicates someone receiving a big financial support, unexpected uh, big sum of money. It's like the most money that you can get in tarot. And uh, in this case, it's in reverse. It's like when you're not number one or when you're not on the top of the list of whatever achievement uh, you want to uh, have, you want to be successful at achieving, this is seriously getting you out of balance and it's to do with the material uh, aspect of the balance. It's like when it comes to action, you have the optimistic approach. When it comes to people, you have the right approach as well. You cut out everyone that it's uh, costing you, you know, stress, disappointment, you just leave them behind. But when it comes to the material expression of uh, your balance, you are sometimes really not that satisfied. And um, it's something to be alerted for. It's a red flag. Sagittarius, when you don't get what you expected as a material result, just be aware it's still there it's still on the radar maybe there is something little that needs to be changed or maybe you need to have a little bit more humble of an expectation but again you're sagittarius so everything might be over exaggerated so let's see what the zen cards are going to be providing you with an encouragement an advice Let's have a look and contentment. Rejoice in whatever life gives you. Crave nothing else. Know that whatever you have been given is for your own highest good. You are blessed with this card, Sagittarius. Thank you for your time.